Family and friends, welcome back to the channel. I gotta be careful on this one. And what I'm talking about, when I bring up a company and saying this is a company I'm going for, I'm not sponsored, you know, no one's giving me any money, nothing like that. And if I bring up a company because I like it, am I telling you to go with that company? No, you know, that's up to you. I'm just gonna try to explain what I'm about to do or doing before we make our trip over to Albania. Okay, let's talk about healthcare. Very important. Um, there's different kinds of travel health insurance. And um, I was looking at Cigna, Safety Wing is another good one, and Genki. Now I decided to go with, a, I believe the correct pronunciation is Genki, uh, G-E-N-K-I, and that's the one that looks like we're gonna be choosing. Uh, let me go over some of the things. Now, you see me looking down, I'm staring at my laptop. What is insured? Medical treatment everywhere, treatment in any local recognized healthcare provider around the world. That includes visits, overnight stays, inpatient and outpatient. Limited dental and me mental treatment. The dental overseas is so much cheaper. You know, um, a lot of the expats I talk to are actually just paying out of pocket for dental work unless it's something really excessive, okay? But uh, this medical coverage does cover you for uh, severe accidents. You know, you get your teeth kicked out or whatever. Also, sports injur injuries, uh, surfing, uh, skiing, snowboarding, stuff like that. Uh, assistance and direct billing, 24-7 hotline for emergencies and hospital stays, which I like. Hospital visits, if you're likely to stay in a hospital for more than five days, get this, a uh, close friend or family member can visit you, we will pay for their travel costs for them to come visit you. Medical transport, they'll transfer costs to the nearest hospital. If your recovery takes a long time, we can bring you to your home country and that is covered. But what, this is what I like about it, that's up to you. They cannot force you back to your country. That decision will be, will be made by you, which I really like that. Uh, the emergency dental treatment, treatment for pain relief up to 500 euros per case. Uh, COVID-19, you're covered, medical materials, uh, medicines, remedies, uh, no overall cost limits. That is crucial to me. A lot of them, what I see for, uh, for Nomad Insurance, they'll say covered up to 10,000 or 20,000, some up to a million, which is really good. But here, uh, nothing, okay, the, nothing. How long am I covered for two years? Now, they have two different types of insurance. Now, I'm going with the, uh, the traveler for now because I don't know if I'm gonna stay with them. Once I get over there and start talking to other people, uh, there might be companies that I missed. So I'm trying to stay flu. What's good about this is it go month to month and I can cancel it whenever I want. Now, here's another biggie that I really liked. Pre-existing conditions, okay. Now for here, pre-existing conditions within the six months before your insurances aren't covered. Now, that seems fair to me. If something happened to you within six months, uh, we always get scared about for companies, you hurt your leg 20 years ago, and then you hurt your leg again. Oh, you're not covered, it was pre-existing. You know, stuff like that I always worry about. But for just six months ago, I think that's fair. You know, I can understand that. Uh, other things not covered, dangerous activities. Get this, but I like the way they word it. Driving, motorcycles, or car racing. Then in parentheses, normal driving is fine. Okay, so as long as you're not acting a fool. Uh, you're not covered for parachuting. That's unfortunate. It is because I used to jump. But Paragliding, bungee, base jumping, free climbing. Uh, you're also not covered for professional sports. Being in my 60s now, I think that's out of the question, so we don't got to worry about that. Uh, Drugs and ex excessive alcohol. What they're really talking about is drunk driving or anything like that. You're not going to get covered for that. <clears throat> Active participation in a war. You're not going to be covered. Again, no problem. Uh, now medical travel. Uh, another thing I like, the deductible. What it looks like I'm paying for, I won't have a deductible. None. Zero. Okay. So what's this going to cost me? Now, you got to realize that in America, medical insurance is totally outrageous. And uh, there is a button here. If I wanted to add Canada and, lo and USA, uh, the cost per month would really skyrocket. Okay, so the insurance for me in April, we, we're covered everywhere throughout the world, is for both of us 279 euros per month. Very cheap. Very cheap. And a lot of things are covered. If I want that $50 deductible, so to lower the monthly payment, I click that button, now we're down to $233 per month. But I'm not gonna do that, I'll just go with no deductible at all. The biggest jumps that I see, it's all about age. 
you know, and it's like in 10 year brackets, up to 30, up to your 40s, up to your 50s. And then your 30s, I mean, it's dog cheap, like $40 a month or something like that. It's just something outrageous. But uh, even when I crossed over to Magic Number, which seems to be 59, and we're on the wrong side of it now, it's just the way it is. But uh, age seems to be the coverage. But for two of us, 279 euros, you're talking close to 300 bucks a month for, for damn good insurance. I mean, damn good insurance. Now, uh, if anyone else is using a different insurance, and uh, you like yours better, uh, please comment, you know, give, give us a comment. It helps out the channel a great deal. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys on insurance and what we're going to do. I'm going to probably activate this either the end of March or early April before we get over there. Um, I, as I've aged, I've gotten paranoid about medical insurance. We've all, always had medical insurance. We had a, about a two-week gap after my work closed down. It scared the hell out of me. I'll never have that happen again. So again, that's, that's very good. There's an um, expats in Albania also have like a group rate insurance uh, that it could be cheap. But is that covered for if we go to Italy or we go to France? I don't know yet. I'll give you that information once I do. But for now, we're going to stick with Genki, G-E-N-K-I. And I'll, uh, I'll leave it down in the description box. Uh, Google it. Look it up. Uh, go to the site. All right. Remember, you guys, take care of each other. Okay? Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.